they get a little bit extra. So, uh, if anyone hasn't noticed, the market went <whistles> biggest down in one day ever recorded, I think. Uh, so, uh, yeah, coronavirus has um, given the market something to have a bit of a correction. Uh, that means, you know, stopping the uh, uh, the ball case and sort of bringing the prices back uh, somewhere a little bit more realistic. Um, I'll show you the portfolio in a minute. I don't think I've been too badly affected by the market, to be honest, um, with the stocks that I hold. Um, so there's a lot of people I know who have actually asked for my video and obviously interested on the update. Um, but also just want to say that there's a lot of people in the forums and the chats that I'm sort of active in um, who are getting really panicky um, about it, don't know whether to sell, just, just caught in a, a fluster of not knowing what to do. Um, again, I'm still really a relatively new investor. And, uh, you know, my view on this, you just have to look to the uh, knowledgeable people, keep bringing them up, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, um, they're just tides, you know what I mean? You're going to get peaks and troughs in the stock market. Yeah, it could be crazy and it could be the biggest day it's fallen, whatever. Um, I personally was getting really excited because uh, some of my favourite stocks were coming on to uh, a price that they haven't been at for for uh, some time. So uh, I took advantage of that, which I'll show in a minute. Um, but what's the panic? You're about to get the opportunity to buy your favourite companies at discounted prices so there is literally where unless you're needing the money tomorrow and you need to to sell out the shares what, what's the problem that's it ride the tide it'll go up it'll go down you're, you're playing long term if you're playing for the short term then yeah this is going to be a bit stressful and a bit thing uh, i saw someone that uh, uh was looking to buy a house and it's their deposit uh, for the house that they put out on the stock market and lost uh, uh, obviously an amount of the deposit. So uh, yeah, if you're looking to buy a house next week, it's not uh, the place to put your money. However, if you're playing for the long term, opportunities like this do not come around that often. And uh, so, you know, it's a brilliant time to uh, reevaluate what stocks you believe in uh, and get some more money into them. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to babble on much more. Here's the update, uh, and we'll see what I changed in the last week. Okay, so here we are on the portfolio. Um, as you can see, not looking too bad. We are still up £1,200, uh, total £3,912.46. So, um, some things have moved about and changed in the last week. Um, as you know, I had cash on the side ready for exactly this sort of situation. Um, so I decided to deploy that, but you'll also notice that there is a stock missing from the portfolio. Um, Activision at its best uh, after that uh, last quarter uh, release um, was up 16%. Um, I was expecting more movement. Um, I don't think on the stock market it's just generating that much excitement. Um, I love it as a stock. I think uh, it's a good long-term potential in the future. The gaming industry is only growing. Um, but for me at the moment, I'm looking for the best return on investment for my money uh, and trying to push that sort of 12-monthly ROI as high as I can get it. Um, I'm not a dividend uh, investor. I am a growth investor. And so I'm looking for really big growth uh, if I start spreading across too many stocks, I'm going to bring my average down, and that is not what I want. So I took the position to sell out uh, in the drop. It was at 8% uh, up in the end when I sold out. I can't remember what the exact amount was that I took in profit, but I took a profit. Um, 40, 50 pounds, something like that, I'm not sure. Which, considering we haven't been in it for all that long, is not bad. So um, what did I do? Um, as you can see, we've got a free share um, from doing an invite. Um, so we'll see what that comes to in probably next week's one when I can open it. Um, but I've bought another Tesla share, as you can see. Obviously a hard purchase when you can see the price that I paid for the first two. 
Um, we're now in at £512. Um, took advantage of that on around the $600 mark. Um, no, we're in the 600 range. Um, as you can see now, it's up in the 700 range. So um, I'm fortunate enough to have found pretty much the bottom of that dip there. Um, as you see, it went around 667. Um, so I was just lucky enough. You're never going to time a bottom or know exactly what the bottom of a stock is. Um, so you tend to buy not all at once, but buy in intervals. So that's what I did. I only bought one instead of two, um, even though I had the capital for two because I thought it could drop a little bit lower. It didn't. That's my L. I've got to take it. Um, I still want to grow Tesla position, as I said, and I'd just be looking for those sort of opportunities to do that. Um, Uber sitting there at number two at the moment, only just behind uh, uh, behind is Microsoft. Um, Microsoft, I did buy another two shares of. I just really like Microsoft as a company. I think it's solid, um, solid, solid company. Uh, lots of growth still going forward. Uh, I still really think the same about Apple uh, and Facebook. You could have a view that they're they're at the top, but they've still got loads of things they're working on that uh, have got good growth potential for the future. And Facebook is just, I just think, isn't being given a fair rap. Like it does not deserve to be uh, at the prices at the minute. I think it's a a good buy. So uh, you'll probably see me adding on to that. Um, so uh yeah that's that's basically uh what's changed in the portfolio um i am sitting on about 400 pounds at the moment uh as you know i don't ever feel the need to go out and spend every penny of it buying stocks that i'm not that interested in um and vice versa i can actually buy stocks i am interested in um at the moment i could buy more microsoft apple some of my video cut off for reasons unbeknown to me, that's happened twice. So I'm just going to patch these two bits together seamlessly as if nothing ever happened. So uh, anyway, to conclude, uh, there's only been some minor alterations, sort of. I mean, obviously I've removed Activision, gained Tesla, gained to Microsoft, uh, and that is the change in the portfolio. I don't think I've been affected too bad. I'm still up £1,200 from the last 12-month results. Uh, so that is all cool. Um, and, yeah, uh, we'll see what the next week brings us. There's obviously a lot going on with the market at the moment. Can't wait for it to open today at half past two and see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm asking a yawn there. Uh, but... Uh, uh, appreciate anyone that has been watching the videos. I know some people have been asking uh, and in interested to see what's happened to the portfolio um, over the last week. Some people have been asking for the video update. So thank you for subscribing. Uh, and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. This is going to be a lot different to uh, other people's uh, channels at the moment because I'm not focusing on dividends whatsoever. I'm focusing on growth. I'm focusing on hard and fast return on investment. So, uh, yeah, if you don't already, please like and subscribe. Helps the channel out a load. Uh, encourages me to make more content. And I do have some videos that I have also filmed today that I will be uh, doing my little editing bit on. Um in and around my view on selling stocks and my view on some stocks uh, at the moment. So yeah, see you on the next one. Bye for now.